what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be checking out the first ova of haikyuu and i've been waiting to do this um somebody said i have to check this out before i go into season two so we're going to check that out today um got some other reactions that i gotta put out today so i'm doing this first because um i've you know sometimes ovas are one hour sometimes they're half an hour so let's go see what this is all about um already know this is about nekoma so we're going to see what this is all entails if this is something that leads up to season two or whatever it is but let's just go watch it and i will see you guys for the review all right so let me talk about it this way um there was a lot there to take in no doubt about it there was a lot to take in i really i enjoyed it it was funny you know there were parts of it that were funny um but the most interesting part of it is kenma and lev of course because they were the center of the entire thing um you know kenma in my opinion is going to be a problem he's going to be a problem if they you know continue to showcase what they've done in this series so far which is to not let any one person become the center of a, the center of attention as in mc in the story um because right now we're looking at kind of everybody kind of like it's a cohesive unit of main characters in this story and I wouldn't mind if they showed, you know, other people's matches and stuff like that. Like, I would have loved to see um, Oikawa go up against um, Shirito Izawa, I think, <laughs> right? Um, I would have loved to seen that matchup, but they didn't show it. They got whooped. They got their ass whooped, but it is what it is. I would have loved to seen that match to see what we're aspiring to get to. You get what I'm saying? To see what is the the um the danger that is that school the number one school you know what i mean like you know what are they like would have loved to see that but they didn't show it um would have loved to seen the, the match that nekoma lost you know what i'm saying in the inter high would have loved to seen that um you know to build upon it but they kind of like you know they talked a little bit about it in the ova but, um they they also with this new character Lev, right? He's tall, but I don't think I don't I I think that I think Kenma is not he's not tossing the ball high enough for Lev to really get really stretched out to really be an ace. If he can jump that high, you know what I'm saying? Um usually I don't want to say like people like if you're talking about the NBA, people like um, Dwight Howard, trust me, dude, it is very rare for a guy that tall to be jumping that high. You guys got to understand, the, tall, the taller you are is the heavier you are. You get what I'm saying? The heavier you are, especially if, you're, if your muscles, you know what I'm saying? You can be thinned down, but your natural weight without working out is you're going to be a heavy person you get what i'm saying you're going to be well over 150 160 pounds going up i mean i'm six feet you know what i'm saying i'm six feet and i should be at 180 you get what i'm saying i should be at 180 but i'm around 190 200 sometimes so i know the taller you are you know, naturally, you're you're going to be heavier, right? But he looks like he's around, I want to say he looks like, I don't know, I don't want to look up his height right now, but I'm pretty sure, not pretty sure, but I think he looks like he's around 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. If, if it just looks that way. And in, in volleyball, you're basically close to being over the net <laughs> you know what i mean like that's crazy you know he looks like he's around six five six six um so he's gotta toss the ball he can't just be tossing the ball like 
you know, a little bit over the net and stuff like that. He's got to push that ball up there so that he's stretched out. Because the thing about it that, like, I feel like the reason why left keeps keeps missing is because the ball is not being tossed high enough. And the thing about Kemma is that, you know, I don't think he... I think he kind of picked up on what his friend was trying to teach him from the from the video game, which is, you know, um, in video games, there's always tells when it comes on to boss battles. There's always there's always tells even in the Souls game. So don't even come here and tell me that there's not tells in Soul game. There are tells in Soul games, sometimes a little bit unpredictable and it happens very fast. You can't really tell because you're not really looking for that stuff. Most people that play video games, they don't really look for tells when it comes on to boss battles unless it's lit up. You get what I'm saying? Um, but the thing about when it comes on to the Souls games is that it's not lit up. You get what I'm saying? But the tells are there. They're just not lit up. And that's what makes it extra difficult. You get what I'm saying? He makes it more hard. But you have those games and boss battles where you see, you know, if they're charging up for a heavy attack and stuff like that. Like, say, uh, um, I don't want to say Neo because Neo don't really give tells, but Neo 2 does. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So you you can see when enemies are going to charge up certain attacks and stuff like that and you see that big ass tell right so i think that's more than likely what his teammate was trying to tell me is like you got to look for people's tells you know of what how I, at first i was thinking that maybe you know because they're like oh he jumps the speed of how he jumps changes every time he does it and that's a problem you get what i'm saying because that's a problem on left side he needs to all he, he needs to match what he does to kenma what kenma is doing um you get what i'm saying just as much as our kenma needs to matches him match him because if he's you know did he's trying to come off as a bit of an of a clown to be honest because lev is no genius let's let's just put that out there he's no genius okay he's not a genius and i'm not co-signing that he's not no genius okay um but he works hard he works hard determined optimistic having that kind of attitude you know will always always get you places so that's good but he's no genius by any means <laughs> you know but anyways thank you guys so much for watching um i appreciated that i'm gonna jump into season two in a couple of days so look out for that all right so i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for checking out this ova with me and i will catch you guys later man peace uh...